Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about social media and all the chaos right now going on in the mass consciousness that is our planet Earth. Social media, crazy chaos, 2018 coming at you now, Launch Industries. And welcome back. So if you've looked at social media in the last year or two, you've seen quite the chaotic war going on between everybody in the world. I mean, people are fighting over politics, over just every type of issue that could be possibly going on. Nobody's getting along. And it's a little bit disturbing in a way because I see people of here in the United States, I see people in the two political parties, you've got the Republicans and the Democrats, and they're, they're, they're fighting about, about everything, about all these issues. And this has always gone on in history, this has gone on for, for a very, very long time. But I'm noticing that it's, it's, it's with social media, and on Twitter in particular, it's, it's ramping up. And you look at some of these some of these tweets that are happening, um, particularly in between. There's this guy Scott Adams who who is independent and but very much understands what Trump is doing, sees what Trump is doing, tries to explain what Trump is doing, and it doesn't go very well go over very well with the Democrats at all. Um, and then just yesterday he was tweeting with Amy uh, Siskind, I believe is how you pronounce it. She's an author and. Um, very much of the Democratic Party, Democrat Party, and they did not see eye to eye at all. Um, Scott really isn't Democrat or Republican, but he does see what Trump is doing, and, and he tries and he justifies it. Um, and the way Amy communicated with him, and just the way they talked, and Scott actually talked about this um, on a podcast I saw of his. Like the people that that come after Scott you know, that are, are mad, you know, about, about the Trump thing. And then also, you know, what Scott says about Trump and, and so on and so forth is like, what's scary about all this is um, it's almost as if people are living in two different realities. Like literally, um, and, and Scott and someone else described it as like watching two movies on, on the same screen. Let, let's, you know, the good, the good example, which is something that was in the media recently, was the uh, Yanni versus Laurel. Some people listen to it and they hear Yanni. Some people listen to it and they hear Laurel. Then there's another one um, that came out, which was Brainstorm and Green Needle, which was an even better illustration. I'll, I'll put that one in the in the, my comments below, in my profile. Um, but literally, when you're watching this green Green Needle versus Brainstorm, when you watch it, if you think about Brainstorm, it will say brainstorm. If you think about green needle, it will say green needle. So your mind dictates what the video, it, it, the, as it repeats, whatever you think of, it will change to. And I think that's a big clue. Yanni and Laurel did that too, to a lesser degree. But, but I think that's a big clue as to what could be going on here with the greater everything is literally these people who um, are like attacking Scott Adams, for example, aren't living in the same world. Like, we're in the same world, but we're not in the same world. Because I promise you, everybody who's fighting right now, politically, if we all saw what the other side was saying, we would go, it would make sense to both sides if they could see what the other side was, was seeing. But we are not seeing the same movie. We're, we're watching different things on the same screen. This is a brain thing. This is a consciousness thing. It's beyond just people, you know, people aren't lying, you know, they, they aren't um, seeing it differently because of, you know, their, their own morals or, or ethics. This, this is beyond that now. This is, a, um, this is a consciousness thing going on. This is a human consciousness evolutionary thing happening. And... Uh, as things continue to progress, I'm very curious where all of this is going because I do think that that there's a there's a grander scheme at play. But but if you look at social media, go on Twitter today and look at some of the political tweets 
between, you know, say, oh, someone with uh, Republican views like, you know, um, Candace Owens, you know, go look at hers and then look at what people say to her and look at what she says to people um, and vice versa. You know, go look at Michael Moore's and, and look at what people say to him. And people, we, we aren't living, I, I'm not claiming to be on either side here, but, but we, we aren't living in the same reality. Like you can look at logical things on both sides and the other side cannot see. This is, guys, this is not a difference in opinion here. This is not like he's mean, she's mean. He's, this is, forget all of that. This is, the other side is not capable. Con, in the, the consciousness they're in cannot see that. And I think that's what we need to start looking at is like the other side literally cannot see that. Like, even if they wanted to, and that's why the hatred, because, uh, you know, it really happens on both sides, but the, that's why that happens, because the, the brain is not registering that, con that same consciousness. They're literally living in a different world. The people who love Trump are living in a different reality than the people who say Trump is Hitler. Like, you see them, and we, we, we talk to each other, and everybody talks, but like, they are not, their consciousness is not living in the same sphere as the other one, even though they're talking, they are watching a different movie, literally, like consciousness, different movie. I don't know what that means, but it, it, it definitely is happening. And I don't know what to make of it yet, but I think people should look at social media and just look at how deep this has gone now. This is not just a side lying or a side disagreeing. This is literally their consciousness is on a different sphere. Don't know why. Check out Twitter. This is my social media bit for today. But we should start paying attention to social media and be looking at that because that is something we haven't seen before. And I think we may be all moving towards a, a further, higher level of, of understanding through this. Whew, a little interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Jeff Pilkington. This is Launch Industries. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like below, a big thumbs up, or be sure to follow me. I have 18 subscribers, which on YouTube, we like to get subscribers. So please, I'm gonna keep the videos going and I need some subscribers, guys. Thank you. This is Jeff Pilkington. This is, I'm Jeff Pilkington. This is Launch Industries. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for tuning in. Take care.